Okay, so what do you do if you just bought yourself a brand new EV, like a Cybertruck here behind me, but you don't have a home charger? You've got no way to charge it at home. Well, what you need is what I've got right here conveniently in the frunk, and that is a Mach 1 Level 2 charger from Apex Charger. This is the most powerful, most versatile, and just the best Level 2 charger I've ever tested. Let me show you how to get it installed in your own garage, show you how it works, and show you why it's my new go-to Level 2 charger recommendation for any EV owner. Even if you just bought a Cybertruck, you need one of these. Let me show you why. Okay, so the purpose of this video isn't just to show off a brand new level two charger, but it's to tell a story. This right here is an all new Cybertruck, and yes, it's amazing. I've got a lot more coverage on uh, this truck coming soon, but this is my father-in-law's very first EV. He is one of those people that is making the jump over to an electric vehicle and is trying to figure out the ins and outs of this ownership process, not just the whole switch away from a gas car to a fully electric car, but also, how to charge at home. I was fortunate enough to team up with the folks over at Apex Charger who are sort of releasing this Mach 1 as a problem solving solution. And I decided what better way to put it to the test than to install it here for my father-in-law. He needs a level two charger. He needs a way to charge at home. He needs something that's simple, easy to use, reliable, looks good, and is going to deliver the charging speeds he needs. So that's where we're at. I am going to get the Mach 1 here installed, show you how it works, show you how simple it can be and to show you whether you've got a cyber truck or really any EV on the road why this is going to be an amazing way to charge your car conveniently at home. Let's jump in. First though before I rip that box open and get into things just a little bit of context to set the stage here. Let me explain just for those who don't know why having a home charger is so important and why going level two is better than level one. Whether it's your first EV or it's your 50th EV, if you own an electric vehicle, charging at home sort of makes the dream of owning an EV a reality because it's basically like you are filling up your gas tank, so to speak, every single day from the convenience of your driveway or your garage. The problem is that with traditional wall outlets and just the standard AC plug, you can charge your vehicle that way, but it's what you would call trickle charging. It's very, very slow. And generally speaking, you're getting one mile of hour uh, of charge uh, from that solution, which is not ideal. Typically you're looking for what is called a level two charger. That's going to be a faster solution. So even if you like come home close to empty, you plug it in, you go inside, eat dinner, go to bed, wake up the next morning and your car is ready to go, which I absolutely love. Uh, and one of the things to keep in mind if you're looking at a Tesla specifically, at least here in the US, is that Tesla does not give you any kind of charger with the vehicle. No slower level one charger, no level two charger, everything is an additional price. So if you're looking to buy a Tesla in 2024, you need to get yourself a charger because you need a way to charge the car and the car doesn't come with anything. So whether you've got a Tesla or really any other EV on the road, my new go-to recommendation is going to be the Mach 1 uh, from Apex Charger. I think this is a very uh, versatile, very well-rounded charger. And before I show you how it works, let's pop open the box and show you what's inside. So popping open the box, right off the bat, you're gonna see some things you don't normally see in a regular old typical level two charger. Of course, you've got some really nice hardware here. You've got great instructions. You've got all the mounting equipment and hardware you'll need, but also the Mach 1 comes with a really nice Tesla to J1772 adapter. So if you've got a Tesla, you're obviously gonna need that adapter, but typically, no other companies usually include this in the box, which I find uh, really nice about Apex Charger because typically you wanna always keep one in your car. So if you happen to go to any random level two charger while you're driving, you wanna have that uh, ability to plug in. The second thing I find absolutely fascinating and really cool with Mach 1 is its versatility because typically with level two chargers, you've got two options. You can either hardwire it in and get an electrician out there and hardwire it in for a super clean install and maybe get a little bit more speed and power from that solution, or what's really common these days and typically is easier is going with a NEMA 1450 plug. This is like a dryer plug. Um, they're relatively inexpensive to install depending on your situation and you get one you know, sort of there and then you can plug in a charger and be good to go. In this situation here with my father-in-law, this was his very first EV. He went with the Cybertruck. It's an amazing vehicle. He absolutely loves it. 
but um, he needed a way to charge the vehicle. So not only did I pair him up with the Mach 1, but also he was able to get a NEMA 1450 plug installed just to make things super simple. He's able to get it right installed on the wall there, and this led to a really easy install. But what I love here with Mach 1 is that you've got the option for both here. If you go the NEMA 1450 route, like what I've got here, you wanna make sure Mach 1 is set at 40 amps to comply with NSC's recommendations. Though if you do wanna squeeze a bit more power out of this unit, you can go the hardwired route and get 48 amps. As for the install itself, this is a pretty simple process. Essentially, it's just a matter of finding an ideal location on the wall. If you're gonna go the NEMA 1450 route, just make sure you're relatively close to that plug. There is gonna be plenty uh, of cable here to work with. And then it's just a matter of lining up the mounting hardware, getting some screws into that wall, and yeah, just a couple of minutes here, probably five to 10 minutes, uh, depending on your wall, and you are good to go. Then at sort of the end here, Mach 1 just sort of clicks in to its base. There's a couple of additional security screws to get that thing secured in, and that's it. Like I said, took about all of 10 minutes with the help of my beautiful wife, and we got it all good to go. And um, we also opted to install the additional holster and sort of cable holder combo that come in the box as well. So there's an easy place for my father-in-law just to plug in uh, the charging cable when it's not in the vehicle itself. And before I show you how this works, I do wanna make one point at this point in the video. And that is that if this is your very first EV and you're feeling a little overwhelmed, that's okay. I get it. The team behind Mach 1 gets it, and that's why they're here to help. Because when you start to hear all this EV mumbo jumbo, level one, level two, J1772, NEMA 1450, so many acronyms, um, your head starts to spin. And what the Mach 1 team wants to do is just be here to help you with some world-class support. They've got 24 seven support available anytime you need it, either via phone, via email, or chat on their website, where well, you're gonna get the opportunity to talk to a real human on the other end of your virtual screen. So if you've got a question about install, if you wanna know more about the features, you're just sort of confused about how to get things going. And again, you're gonna get connected to a real person here. And that folks is something personally that I really appreciate as someone who has helped so many people make their first switch to an EV, having the whole charging conversation can get super overwhelming. And sometimes you just need a little help throughout uh, the installation process. I love that the Apex charging team is there for you. So if you've got questions, you wanna talk to a real person and you wanna get some help and your questions answered, they've got 24 seven support available on their website here to help you. Other companies just cannot say the same thing. And after the install is done here, things are just super simple. As you'd expect, you can just plug in and start charging with plug and play mode. And there are a couple of things here right off the bat that I appreciate. One is a built-in screen. How many times have you wished you could see if the charger was working or not or what the air was, but you couldn't because there's no built-in screen on most of these units. That is not the case. The team behind Mach 1 understands the importance of having a screen. And not only do they give you a screen with useful information, but they give it to you in a sense that's easy to understand. You can look at it at a glance and it's not gonna overload you. You're not gonna be bombarded with information, just the essentials and what you need to see to actually you know, use your charger and plug in and charge your vehicle. That I really appreciate here. In terms of design, construction, materials, everything here is super premium. You're getting a nice compact design that is not taking up uh, too much space on your wall, but is going to be you know, not something that feels super flimsy. Very, very premium here, and also a nice long cable. That 30 foot cable is one of the longest I've seen on any level two charger. Really, really nice to see. And also what I love is some extra versatility with the Mach 1 as well. There's a full-fledged companion app that you could use to dive into the charger. You can obviously stop uh, and start your charging sessions remotely. You can dig into info from previous charging uh, sessions. You're able to adjust uh, power delivery and all that stuff. But even on the unit itself, not only do you have that screen to be able to see real-time information, but also there's some extra functionality if you wanted to share access to this charger with other people. So maybe you're living with roommates and you wanna be able to sort of give others access, or maybe you've got this installed at a business or a public location and you wanna make sure that um, 
those you want to have access will be able to charge their car, but those who you don't want won't be able to. There are a few RFID cards included in the box here with Mach 1, and you can give these to those who you want to basically allow to authenticate and charge their vehicle. So basically they just tap it, the charger is going to authenticate, and then charging can commence. But of course, if you're just using this at home, you can go to plug and play mode and just have it plug in and immediately start charging. And if it seems like Mach 1 is checking all the boxes here, that's because it really is. I actually had the opportunity to sit down with the team behind this and sort of hear the why and the reason uh, sort of they invested into this space. And they're EV owners and enthusiasts like you and I, and after being like us, and especially like me, frustrated with so many of the other level two chargers on the market, they wanted to fix all the problems. They wanted to create a solution that was super premium. They wanted a very easy installation process. They wanted to give you the versatility of going hardwired or going NEMA 1450. They wanted to give you a nice long 30 foot cable. So no matter where your car is, or if you've got multiple EVs, this is gonna be the one charging solution you'd need. This just fixes all of the problems. It checks all the boxes in a really amazing way. So if you wanna check out the Mach 1 and you wanna learn more, uh, hit that link link down below in the description to check it out. Again, 24-7, 365 support here. Uh, a team is here to help you through every part of the process, which I appreciate. Versatility here is awesome. The built-in smarts are amazing. And I think the team here is doing some really amazing things. Plus, just to give a little teaser, uh, there's also the Mach 2, which packs some other special features and a special design that I will be showing off very soon and can't wait to show you guys in a future video. But hey, if you're looking for a great level two charger, Mach 1 checks all the boxes. I love it, my new go-to recommendation. I think you guys are gonna really, really love it. If you wanna learn more and give your Tesla, really any EV, a huge upgrade with a great level two charging solution, Check out Mach 1 at the link right down below. Again, a big thanks to you guys watching this video. A big thanks to the Apex Charging team for teaming up with me for this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you all, and I'll see ya in the next one.